Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you remember right, we're finally out of those sewers, and we have some errands to run. I'm just going to hit my quest log. We're going to go and take care of Amalia's little errand to see if we can sneak into Tawny's house and plant some cameras around. Then we're going to go look for Barabbas. Also, I should talk to Isaac. So Isaac's not over here. He's on the other end of town, so I think we will do that. But let's look for the Lucky Star Motel and the apartment building right next door. Alright, so there's the Lucky Star. What is this? Perfect. Now we gotta be real stealthy. And I am not good at being real stealthy, so this could get bad. Let's do a safety save right here, despite me being barely off the hub. I'm trying to get in that habit because it's so annoying to have to repeat large amounts of content just because I messed up. Sneaking across the living room. Sneak right on upstairs. Be real bad if she was home. Shit. Remember, what the? Who the hell's here and has a gun? Her boyfriend looks just like me. I'm not gonna shoot you guys. Jeez. Um. You really need to buy a better firearm. I'm just gonna say right off the bat that some f a better firearm or some kind of training would probably be good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we failed that quest. Yep, because we were noticed. All right, well, in that case, I'm just going to let myself out, and we'll give this another try. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. All right, let's load our save. Okay, so how am I going to be able to sneak? <sighs> okay, real careful. Nothing? That was nothing. <sighs> move, Tony. Need you to move. Sweet. Ah! This is a terrible thing. What is going on? Okay. Okay. We'll just stay right here. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, shit. The phone is ringing. Wait. Nobody went to answer it. Oh, it's a cell phone. All right. Well, let's get in the bathroom. Frick. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> I think we can do this. We did much better this time. Just got to take it slow and not be dumb. All right. Now, she's going to come right around that corner. Or, ooh, that was nothing. See, I can sort of see her. Oh, she's coming over here. She can't see me? What is happening?
Um, Tani, can you move? Go about your day? Uh, I'm not exactly hidden right here. Um, I've got an idea, but it's probably a bad one. Nope. She didn't notice me yet. But she's real mad. Oh, crap. Opening doors is noisy. Come here. I'm sick of you two. Where's presence? Rar. Okay. So Okay, so there's our computer. There's where we need to put the bedroom camera. And okay, so. All right, just load, just load. How could I possibly do this better? Um, I really don't know, actually. I really don't know. It's kind of got to realize that um, She really can't see me. Like, I can just basically walk through you. Except he can. Alright, 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 alright! Stop! Yeah, what? You don't like it now? Jeez. Load. <sighs> Everybody's pointing guns at everybody. Let's see. This is increases my dexterity, so maybe that'll make my sneaking better. It in fact has. By at least a little bit. Alright, I'm trying to drain her blood this time, because maybe if she's not notified, what will happen is what I'm hoping is she goes into that stupor mode. Hey, right she does not. Okay, I have to put a camera there. You're a really annoying boyfriend. I, I understand I understand that I'm intruding on your home, and I'm very sorry, but you're really annoying. All right. I wish there was something I could do, like make a distraction of some kind. Where's my Auspex? That was really helpful. All right, so she's in there, and where is he? He's right there, and he's on the phone. Okay, here we go. That's not good. Um, nobody is here. Nobody is here at all. Dang it! starting to think that I should probably just montage this for a while and let you see it at the end or maybe I should you know get get my jam out and see what I can do because right now we're not having a ton of luck we can get this far but I'm not quite sure how to get any further she comes over here so it's not really safe for me to be here but perhaps if I sneak over here There, I'm 0% seen for whatever reason. Um, she's in there. Okay. Where's the boyfriend going? Yes, answer your phone. I can't get through the door.
good grief. Huh. Is it worth it to spend experience trying to improve my stealth scores? Let's look at this. Stealth, zero. Dexterity, some. My sneaking is very, very poor. Um, it wouldn't cost much for me to improve it. Uh, I'm wondering if that's something that's worth doing, though, because I was very much trying to focus on hacking and security so that I could open better locks and charisma. Um, hmm. Let's see, what all does dexterity get me? Better lock picking and sneaking. So I could improve both of those if I point points there. All right, so let's do a thing. Let's load. Improve my dexterity. Put a couple of points in sneak and see if I can handle this. Because this is ridiculous. All right, here we go. Continue. Sheet. Dexterity. A couple of points in stealth. That'll get me up to... Sneaking is at six. I would much rather not put more points in that, but I don't have a lot of choice. Hmm. All right, let's just wait. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I'm pretty sure we've already seen the worst a few times. This increases dexterity by two, so this should increase my sneaking even more. Well, I'm not immortal, that's for sure. I'm so sorry. I wish... <sighs> Could I kill her boyfriend? I know that sounds terrible, and I'm really sorry to say that. But, like, I wonder if I could kill him. Just, like, silently um, bite him and bleed him out. Because he's not her, technically. I mean, very, very technically. Uh... Let's let's try. Let's try because if I got rid of him, I would have a much larger space in which to interact with. So I wouldn't have as much problem. Okay, so we're gonna sneak over here. We're gonna wait. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, we're gonna wait. Where's boyfriend? There's boyfriend. All right, boyfriend. Dang it! He noticed me. All right, try this again. It seems that they don't really reset each time, um, so there's a significant amount of randomness here, but we will see what we can do. So yeah, he's already receiving his full call now, which is quite a bit sooner than we're used to. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Darn it! Darn it! Load. Maybe his phone call's just really short, and so part of the problem we're having is that I'm being very impatient with my moving to the next kind of cover. Um, I wonder if celerity will help at all, like speed sneaking. Because he just got his call now, so there's no reason for me to mess around. Let's go like this. Okay, you go over there. Hey, oh. What? Okay, 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 okay. This quest is proving very difficult. Um, I may not be able to, I may not be able to do this. Um, it also seemed that celerity did not help at all. I tried. All right, we'll use Auspex because that allows me to see where they are for a little bit. See, she's still in there, that's good. Now he just got his phone call, so he's right there. And he's gonna, after he gets his call, I'm just gonna glitch through there. Yeah, they won't, they won't ever know. I'll just glitch through this, it'll be fine. Where is he? Okay. This is slightly distressing. <laughs> I can see him through the crack. Okay. Okay, 
computer. Cleopatra, please. Great, I have to do that after all the of them. Can't do it after just some. Okay, so I can sneak over to the uh, provided they're not in there. Yes. Okay, this is the farthest we've ever been. Two down. I'm going back over here. All we have to do is get into the kitchen. All we have to do, I'm saving on a new save. All we have to do is get into the kitchen. Hopefully, we won't have too much trouble with that. Boyfriendo is going to be coming this way pretty soon, though. Oh, no, he's on the couch. Okay, um... Can't really see through the walls that well, just when I've noticed someone. All right, let's go. She's in the kitchen, so let's go behind the couch. All right. Doing all right. We're doing all right. This is going better than expected. All right. Um... I'm hiding right next to the lamp, so I'm 100% lit up. But I'm very quiet. Very quiet. Nothing. It was nothing. I didn't move. Please just go. Please just go. Please. Just go somewhere else. No, don't go back in the kitchen. <laughs> And the vampire stayed crouched behind the couch forever. <laughs> the tenants never realized he was there. They went about their daily lives of walking back and forth between the kitchen and pulling out their gun at random intervals and receiving short cell phone calls. I don't know what to do. I have to go for it. I don't really have any other options. I mean, but every time I go in there, she sees me, so I don't. Okay. 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 This is going super well. All right, here we go. I'm just going to stay here. Camera. God, her computer's really gross. Look at that. Cam check. Can't we see Dirty Little Tawny in action? We're monitoring you from here. Get out quietly and come back. All right, save. All we have to do now is get out of here without being seen. How hard can that possibly be? With both of them totally like angry and freaking out. Well, he's just staring at the wall. She's back in the kitchen. All right, we'll see you guys later. It's been great. Thank you so much. I didn't even have to spend my experience, look. Oops, that's not how you do that. Look at I still got all my 23 experience points. That's awesome. All right, good. So I didn't have to waste points on a stupid stealth mission. It may have taken half an episode and quite a lot of time, but I'm not even standing up until we get all the way out of the building. I don't care if this is a safe area. I'm done. All right, let's head back down to Nosferatu Town and see if we can talk to Amalia about getting our reward. That would be nice. And then uh, we'll probably go see Isaac. But first, let's head back this way, because I'm pretty sure this is the right way. You know, I never know. I spend 50% of my time going the wrong way in downtown. So I can't even really talk about it much. Zoop. Hey, guys. Zoop. Man, I don't think I've ever succeeded in that quest before. I remember talking to Amalia, but I have never been able to do that. Uh, I was never persistent enough. And I've never built a stealth character. That's something I would really like to do someday. Um, would be build a character like a Nosferatu and play this game for stealth. Because it's actually really interesting. And although it's probably not the game mode for me, you spend all your time in the sewers because you can get to all of the major quest locations from the sewers. Uh, we did a brief little stint, and I showed off just a tiny bit of that when we were doing the Lucky, the no, the Ocean House Hotel. Uh, Lucky Star is the one where the other dude got murdered. 
Um, what? Oh, which one of these do I go into? One of these has got a door. That one. Nope, that is grave robbing. That is not what I meant. Um, I think it's down this end. Nope. Nope. How do I get back there? One of these is all torn up. Oh, man. Okay, okay. So here's the middle. That is the exit. All right, which ones can I actually get into? This one? That has the empty chest that I just went through. This one. Yeah, there we go. I know I need blood, okay? I know I need blood. I will deal with, oh wait, I have a blood pack. I'll just drink that. Cool. That saves me a bit of trouble. I would hate to go frenzy down in the Nosferatu lair and ruin the entire game forever. But that has happened. Worse things have happened. In fact, I distinctly remember that whole parking garage fight where I ran out of blood like four times and just kept going crazy. That was definitely something. I'm just gonna leave that all alone and crawl back out of here. It's weird, there's like no other Nosferatu down here, just Amalia and, what is it, Greg? Go find her. Hey, what's up? I feel really bad about that. You make me sick. Of course I'll take the money I owe you, though. I lost humanity. That's honestly true. That's what I deserve. Thank you. I feel really bad. I probably shouldn't have done that quest. That really, especially since I lost two humanity points for it, and there's really not much I can do about those. Can I buy those? Oh, I can. How much do they cost? Five. <sighs> we'll see if I need to do that. I should remember that I can buy those, though, because it really could be necessary. Um, because that's part of the Tardor weakness. In the game, it's very different from the actual role-playing game. But in this game, all humanity losses and gains are doubled. So I basically have half as many points to deal with. Um, and I think we had talked about that once before. But in the actual role-playing game... Torador are attracted to displays of beauty, so things like art, or themselves in the mirror if they're really fit, or the sunrise can basically paralyze them in one place, like that story about um, Narcissus and the uh, pool where he just fell in love with his own reflection. They sort of have that going on, and it can end in some very messy deaths, which is probably where all of the jokes about your hand mirror come from. But, you know, that's okay. All right. So let's go talk to Isaac. And then after that, we'll head down to Chinatown. We'll just wrap up the last bit of things that we have to do here in New York first. And then we'll see how things go. Are we in New York? Hello, Ben. You're in Hollywood. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And avoid the cabin of shame where I have to go and deal with that. That's actually, um, the cabin of shame is very interesting. That quest has actually been, uh, put this game on a couple of top 10 lists of like most sexist, uh, things in video games so if you remember we had to fight off a bunch of zombies while he went and got laid while he like got a prostitute if you are playing a girl character with significant appearance you can basically just sleep with him and get the rewards for the quest without actually doing the quest because the zombies never come because you never leave so on and so forth and 
that's always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, as much as I like parts of this game, it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> um, not by a long shot. I mean, some of the problems with combat belay that, but there is a lot of good to be had here too. So I guess it's willing to give, um, you gotta give the game a fair shake all the way through. So I don't know. I really apologize. I might have talked about that quest once before. I'm not sure though. I don't remember. Evening. King's Way, there was a Mishi. Noticed. Use the past tense. Thanks, Isaac. I appreciate it. Bye bye now. Promise to give you a gift in return. Come back in a while. What if I just leave and come back? Zoop. This can't work this way, can it? This game doesn't have a time clock, though, does it? I don't really know. Let's see. Evening. About that gift. Thanks for the gift, Isaac. What does it do? Very precious and full of magical vibes and see that gives you a boost to your charisma. Oh, you know how to get me exactly what I want. That's awesome. That's so cool. So now I can basically have max charisma for what? Wait, what? Oh, I still have to buy the point underneath it. There. That's so cool. All right, wait. Now, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. This is weird. Let me just hold on. Cancel. Can I drop the pearl for a second? All right, yep. Lost charisma one. Buy it. Oh, no, it's at the right, same cost. Okay, okay. I was getting really worried for a minute. I didn't know what was going on. I'm going to buy more appearance and more charisma. And then I'm going to pick up my pretty jewel. And I'm gonna have max charisma, and it will be, and everything is awesome. Nine persuasion, six seduction, which actually uses this, which I have not leveled up at all, so never mind. No wonder I'm absolutely striking out with the ladies. So that's that's really nice. Isaac did me a nice thing. He he might be a nice vampire. That is a weird oxymoron, especially where everybody else is yelling at me and being mean. But, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's take a quick look at our quest log. That's right. Downtown, Prince Juan's the sarcophagus now. Um, I already messed that occultish personality up. Um, check back later for your reward. I already did that, I swear. In Santa Monica. Because I swear I got money out of the mailbox. Or was that for blackmailing that doctor? I honestly don't remember. Um, let's take a let's take a cab to Chinatown. Oh my God! No, not this again! Oh man! Why does this keep happening? Jeez, I don't know what possesses me to try to bite people. Yeah, for now, just drive. Take me to Chinatown. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. This is not what I wanted at all. This is not good. Police are hunting. Okay, maybe they'll give up here in a minute. Just sneak this way slowly. Cool. Everything's fine. That was exciting. 
I'm going to end this episode here, and in the next episode, we'll explore Chinatown. I hope to see you then.